Remember, this is the same company that designed those empowering hijab for women's. Because as we all know, the hijab is the most empowering garment that a woman can wear. Apart from the burqa, of course. Nike is a company that is so pro-Muslim that it wants to create these hijabs that women can play sports in. But it's completely quiet and it'll censor itself when it comes to a country that is putting millions of Muslims in concentration camps. Hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome to another edition of the Sham Sharma Show. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. So an amazing thing happened recently. You know, massive companies like Nike and ESPN, who you may remember, they don't really shy away from talking about important or hot button political issues, but they've somehow completely pussied out when it comes to talking about China. So a huge controversy got kicked off when Daryl Morey, who's the owner of the Houston Rockets, sent out a tweet which was supporting the protesters in Hong Kong. Now the NBA is actually in some hot water with people and they're in hot water because instead of actually siding with Mori who said the right thing, he basically said that he supports the people who are fighting for democracy in Hong Kong. So rather than siding with him, the NBA decided to side with China, a country that is trying to brutally suppress a pro-democracy movement in Hong Kong and a country that has millions of Muslims in re-education or concentration camps. In fact, Deadspin reported on this crazy thing where Chuck Salaturo, the senior news editor of ESPN, sent a memo to shows mandating that any discussion of the Daryl Morey story avoid any political discussions about China and Hong Kong and instead focus on the related basketball issues. What are you talking about? It is a political issue. It's all about politics. Daryl Morey was supporting the pro-democracy protesters in Hong Kong and China are trying to shut them down and the NBA took China's side in it. It is a political issue. So ESPN is going out of its way to not really talk about the political aspects of this issue. ESPN Stephen A. Smith asked during his radio program, he said, Daryl Morey has an obligation to think about the Houston Rockets organization and about the National Basketball Association before himself. You have an obligation to adopt and embrace the interest of those you collect a paycheck from. Usually that would make sense if ESPN only talked about sport and never talked about politics. So if ESPN had a policy that they will never discuss politics and they only discuss sports, then all of this makes sense. But ESPN president Jimmy Pitaro explicitly said last year that the network would not shy away from covering the intersection of politics and sports. ESPN has happily talked about a lot of hot button political issues like transgender issues, like immigration issues, like race issues, like gun violence issues. So they're happy to talk about all of these political issues, but they're absolutely quiet when it comes to China and the various issues around China. That's what people have a problem with. And even Nike, after China expressed displeasure, over Mori's statements, they took down their Houston Rockets merchandise from their various stores across China. Now again, that's very funny because Nike is not a company that necessarily shies away from making political statements. Remember, this is the same company that designed those empowering hijab for women's. Because as we all know, the hijab is the most empowering garment that a woman can wear, apart from the burqa, of course. Nike is a company that is so pro-Muslim that it wants to create these hijabs that women can play sports in. But it's completely quiet and it'll censor itself when it comes to a country that is putting millions of Muslims in concentration camps. They also created a whole ad campaign around Colin Kaepernick. Remember, this is the guy who was kneeling during the national anthems in America to protest police brutality. Now, whichever side of this debate that you fall on, whether you support Colin Kaepernick or whether you disagree with Colin Kaepernick, at least you have to agree that Nike is not a company that is shy when it comes to making strong political statements. That is why, it's very funny when a company like Nike completely pussies out and removes all of its Houston Rockets related merchandise from its stores in China just because China throw a little tantrum. And that's not the only crazy stuff that's happening. Basketball fans are being kicked out of games for holding pro Hong Kong signs 
in America. This is not happening in China. This is happening in America. Blizzard, a video game company, came out and publicly denounced gamers from Hong Kong. The hotel chain Marriott is firing an employee. Yes, firing an employee for liking a pro-Tibet post on Twitter. And meanwhile, at more NBA games, American fans are having pro-Uyghur Muslim signs confiscated. That's going on in America. And a Reddit user posted a post on Reddit where he showed all the companies that are censoring themselves in order to appease China. And there's huge companies in there. You know, there's Disney, there's Apple, there's Mercedes, Nike, there's massive companies in there. And what's awesome about this whole thing is that that's where one of my favorite shows of all time comes in, South Park. South Park has been going hard against China and Xi Jinping, which is funny because I remember when people used to call South Park a bad influence on society, which is very ironic now because South Park is the only company that is standing up to the bullying of China right now and all the other major companies are pussying out. So look, at the end of the day, the moral of the story is that money speaks. Social and political causes don't really matter to these companies. That's something that has become crystal clear in this whole fiasco. Whether it's America, whether it's India, whether it's anywhere in the world, these big corporations, what they really truly care about at the end of the day is money. And it's become true because when it comes to, you know, hot button issues in America, hot button issues in India, they're happy to speak about that. They're happy to offer their opinions. They're happy to create ad campaigns. But when it comes to contentious issues in China, because they have such significant investments in China and because China is such a huge market for them, they're just going to be quiet. They're going to censor themselves and they're going to censor anyone else who uses their platforms to speak out against the atrocities that China is committing. So that's where we are now. Anytime that you see one of these huge companies making some huge social or political statement, throw China in their face, yeah? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did enjoy today's episode, make sure to leave a like, leave a thumbs up, helps me out, helps the channel out a great deal, and make sure to share the show as well. If you like what we do here on the Sham Sharma Show, and if you'd like to support the Sham Sharma Show, make sure to become a patron of the show. Click the Patreon button in the description down below. Become a patron of the show. You get access to tons of exclusive content, tons of exclusive polls. You can go to Patreon and ask questions for the guests that I get on my show as well. And I will make sure to ask your questions on Patreon to the guests as well. You also get access to the Patreon, WhatsApp and Discord servers where we have a lot of great conversations and I get to talk to my patrons directly and they can interact with me directly as well. So make sure to become a patron there. Again, if you like today's episode, if you like the Sham Sharma show, if you like what we do here, and if you have not subscribed already, what are you doing? Make sure to click and subscribe right down here. Click the bell icon to make sure you get informed every time a new video drops. Check out all of our nice videos over here that I am sure you will like as well. I will see you next time. And until then, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys soon.